Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the um, coffee bin for an update. So I wanted to pull back our cover here. And I always love the castings are just so obvious because the worms come right up underneath the bubble wrap. And on these bins where I don't have lids, the bubble wrap is kind of almost critical in order to keep enough moisture in. And the worms are then able to eat right on the surface and then they create those really beautiful castings right on the surface. So these are our European night crawlers. Oh no, these are blue worms. Blue worms, yeah. But yeah, they're blue worms in here. But this is all castings right here on, on the very surface. Sometimes they like cocoons on the surface, so I was just gonna kind of peek for a second, but I'm not not seeing any immediately, but I do see some other residual stuff on the surface here. So let me zoom out a little bit. I do believe we fed in the middle last week and I wanted to see how things were going along and it looks like we've got some really dried up moldy coffee grounds like really dried up and that straight up greenish blue mold although it is interesting to see the worms are in the area but because it dried out the worms really haven't been able to process any of this right here at least this is these are not castings at all and they actually have a kind of foul smell most likely because of that mold. So let's see if the whole section's like this or or not. I'm not sure what to expect, but this paper towel has a lot of baby worms on it, which is interesting. And they all look healthy, so that's good. So it still seems like they're hanging out in the area. It's funny because the surface seemed really nice and, and moist, but this is just not moist at all. I mean, this paper towel isn't even touched. There's coffee on it. The worms are on the, the surface, but they weren't even able to work into it at all. So definitely gonna have to up my my moisture in here this was a paper toilet paper tube and again there's some castings right on it with some babies a few pot worms but I'm disappointed that this coffee really didn't get worked through like at all that's really discouraging I had a whole big thing of coffee to add in here today, and I cannot add it with all of this being unprocessed in here. I don't know if this is something I should have expected would happen eventually, but as of right now, this is kind of discouraging because I'm working so hard to get these worms to eat the coffee, but... You can't even see the mold is putting off some spores into the air. And I'm not a huge fan of that either. But this all does have to get mixed up in order for the moisture to get all around so that the worms can actually work on the coffee. And I do see some red wigglers in here. I always like to tell you guys... Like this guy who's flying, this is a blue worm for sure, but this slower moving kind of fatter guy is probably a red wiggler. Blues and reds often kind of live in harmony together, so it's not really a problem either way. But this entire bin's gonna need to be turned top to bottom and I'm not going to be able to feed 
this week because I know that that wouldn't be good for the worms. This is from two weeks ago or more. There was that real hard hunk of coffee that I was gonna moisten down and I did and it's even harder now. Like, I'm afraid really, I mean, I'm squeezing with a lot of force And it looks almost like some sort of fruit or something. It's like hard, hard, hard. But there's worms, like literally, all around it. There's a baby there right on my palm. So the good news is that the worms look really healthy. The bad news is just that the coffee ground out, ground, dried out. Good Lord having trouble today, dried out. So they really haven't been able to work through it the way I would like. So I think this update's not gonna be as exciting as I had hoped, but I will keep you guys rolling while I kind of turn through this. And I'm not gonna add any bedding because my concern would be it would dry it out even more, even if I pre-moistened it. I really think I'm just going to mix this really, really well, bury up the big pieces and the big hunks of coffee, and then moisten this whole thing down really aggressively. Might even just, like, dump water. Because in the corners, it's even compact-like, a little bit sticky. Although it does, I mean, flake quite easily. Um... But like the the consistency of these casting, like where the castings are, is not at all dry. But it's just that coffee that's just like brutally dry. It's very strange phenomenon how you can have that in in worm bins. One area is perfectly fine, and another is not at all. So this is that big hunk. This is gonna have to be buried deep. And I. Didn't mean to squish you, little guy. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. So yeah, all throughout here, there's kind of hunks of coffee and bedding. That's a really good shot of a pot worm right there. Those little itty bitty white worms. They tend to like the acidic conditions that sometimes are prevalent in worm bins but they are not harmful to your worms in any way, so you can kind of ignore them. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second. I'm going to really take some of these hard pieces and bury them in the very bottom, and we're gonna miss this whole thing down. So I had a second thought about the bedding, and I'm gonna add just paper towels because I keep paper towels that I use in the kitchen on my counter. And I already had some in here, but if I spread them out, make sure that they're flat um, and not in complete balls, um, I think it'll actually help hold some of the moisture in, and I know that it will absorb all of the water. I always tell you guys I'm never going to learn. Uh, I always bump that camera. Um, so I'm going to see if we saturate this really, really well, have it covering the whole top, if this might help get the bin back on track. And it will also be a really interesting thing to see if all of the worms come up and eat the paper towels because it's a very thin layer of bedding now across the top and the worms always hang out right below that um, bubble, the piece of bubble wrap. So I think this might be an interesting little side experiment to our experiment. So that is across the entire surface here and I'm just going to literally I have a big ton of water I had this thing full let that soak in here and again this doesn't have a lid on it so it will evaporate some of the water off of it and then I'm just gonna lay the bubble wrap right across the top here and we will leave these uh, worms to it for another week or so and see if they can rebound and if that uh, coffee in there that kind of got 
matted up that I broke apart if that will start to break down and we will get rid of all the mold and all that kind of gross stuff that was in here. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. Have a great day. Thank you.